Now an update to a story we've been tracking since November. It's been nearly four weeks now since a local small business was destroyed in a fire. Investigators are still trying to figure out what sparked the fire at Rigo's Auto Service in Seekonk. In the meantime, the automotive community is coming together to support one of their own. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joins us from East Providence with the story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. For the past several weeks, this has been the Rigo's temporary home. Everything inside to the space itself is the result of dozens of people coming together to help who they call the most deserving family. This small box of charred tools is all that remains of Rigo's auto service. Late in the night of November 26th, flames tore through the family-owned business, destroying everything inside. Brad May was watching coverage of the fire on Eyewitness News. Never met him in my life. It's just... Like I said, the original broadcast, when you see their customers coming up to them and emotional, you know he's a good guy, you know, and you're like, it just tugged at my heart, so we had to do something. On Saturday, a special delivery for Robert Rigo, a brand new chest filled with thousands of dollars worth of tools. It's a start, it, you know, hopefully it'll help, you know, I just to see the look on his face made me happy. That was amazing, you know, I never expected that in my life, you know. It's a lot of people out there, you know. <clears throat> Showing their support. Yeah. Rigo and his wife, Jean, are the type of people who give and don't typically receive. I'm the type of person I love to help people, but I don't ask for help. But from the moment their business burned down, help has been pouring in. That was devastating. Robert's been a long-term friend. Robert Romanoff owns Stateline Auto Sales and Service. Within days of the fire, he had converted some empty space into an auto body shop for the Rigos. They'll take the shirt off their back. they do anything for you. I mean, I can't speak highly again. Uh, nothing bad about these people. Maybe this will tug at somebody else's heart and want to help somebody else that's in need for a different situation, you know, and make the world a little better. And Rigo says he hopes by this time next year they'll be back at their old spot in Seekonk. Reporting in East Providence, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.